in my life, I've met like, um, you know, Paul Samuelson, the famous economist who revolutionized the field and really revolutionized the field, or um, Robert Solo, who invented the growth model, or Kenneth Arrow. I mean, these guys <laughs> are actually, you know, um, th made, you know, really important s contributions and, and were, those three were very interesting people, you know, that you would love to listen to them or hang out with them, have a beer with them, things like that. And I, I just don't think of myself quite in that category. <laughs> so, you know, I'm just a, you know, I'm just kind of an ordinary guy. Uh, so I first got interested in economics. Um, at the time, I was a physics major, and my girlfriend was uh, taking an introductory economics class, and she was having some trouble with the, uh, the math concepts in the introductory economics, and she asked me to give her a hand, and I started reading the book to give her a hand, and I realized that there was um, some interesting things in there that I had never really seen discussed. And um, one thing that really caught my attention was the fact that in using a very simple economic model, it was possible to explain something that I, I'd known intuitively from my life growing up on a farm, which is just because it's a good crop year, a year with high crop yields, doesn't necessarily mean the farmers are going to be richer. And in fact, oftentimes a good crop year is uh, a year when farm income is low because prices fall so much. And when I saw that explained in this economic way, I got kind of interested in the textbook and spent a couple of nights and read the whole book, or most of the book, and got interested in seeing whether I could take an economics class. Forty years ago, at the top 50 or 100 universities in the United States, the economics courses would have had certain things that they just said were, um, they would have said that minimum wage, almost all the textbooks would have said minimum wage was a bad idea. Rent control is a really bad idea, for example. They don't say that anymore. But that, that, that generation of people are still, they're the ones in charge. And they're not going to change their views. So you can't really change the views of most of the people who've already, you know, made up their decisions. You're really hoping to influence the next generation.